the You give me a thing. If you think I'm going to wait the rest of my life for you, you're crazy. I want stand for it. I tell you, I couldn't help it. You make me sick, keeping me waiting here 15 minutes. I've got a good mind to. I've already apologized 50 times, darling. Please don't start that again. I'm terribly sorry. Don't touch me. You make me sick. But Pauline. Stop pawing me, will you? Please, darling. Don't be like oh, that. Oh, don't please me anymore. I want to hear not a word about it. All right, have it your way. Okay. Is that so? Well, just for the time, go. You can't do that, Pauline. Please. I'm sorry. You know I'm crazy about you. Mad about you. Please forgive me. Leave me alone. I'm through with you. You're just a worthless, clumsy, insignificant, conceited ass. Please, darling. All shut up. Pauline. It's a fishy hoop. Oui, mother. Pauline. Pauline, wait. Gone. I know, but she... Sit down, monsieur. Sit down, please. But... Now, do sit down. Uh, waiter. Oui, monsieur Bono. Two brandies, Napoleon. Come here, monsieur Bono. I couldn't help but overhear your little quarrel. And if I may say so, it was all her fault. Ah, monsieur, you do not understand. Yes, but I do. Don't be a fool. There are two things that a man must never run after. A bus and a woman. There's always sure to be another one. Along directly. What do I care for the next woman, monsieur? I'm in love with this one. My dear boy. Love is an illusion that one woman differs from another. When you're in love, monsieur, there is only one woman. Nonsense! There are scores of women. Hundreds of women. Millions of women. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Pierre. Oh, hello, Victor. Hello, Baron. Hello. Hello, Pierre. Hello, Vic. Don't listen to him. He's a cynic. And he doesn't know the first thing about love. I know him. <laughs> what do you know about it, Victor? I'm in love right now with oh. a lovely, sweet girl. Well, I, I hope to meet her. I'll take very good care you don't. Yeah. So long, Dick. Take care. Bye, Baron. <laughs> Shall we drink to the next woman? No, Monsieur. My dear boy, take a tip from a man who is considerably older than yourself. There is always, always another woman. <laughs> Hello? Eh bien, au revoir. Eh Au revoir. No, oh, Felix, it's a lovely evening. I think I'll walk. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, monsieur. Entirely, I was dreaming. Uh, would you, uh, would you mind doing me a favor? Shut up, Monsieur. Would you pick a key at random? Any key. Go on. Any key. Oh, well, thank you. Is that all, Monsieur? That is all. Your choice is admirable. She's charming. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Huh? I was to remind you, monsieur, that monsieur has an appointment with the tailor. Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. Are you Oh, in the land. I'm losing my waistband. No, 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 monsieur. Monsieur is still as slim as ever. Emile, as the Americans say, you're a cockeyed liar. <laughs> but I like to hear it. <laughs> mm, Emile, I, I don't know what I'd do without you. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. Hello. Bonjour, au revoir. Bonjour, monsieur.
Hello. Hello, darling. I have just decided to do no work this afternoon. Would you like to come to the races with me? Well, oh, darling, I'd love to go, but right now my mother's here. I'm going to take it to a matinee. You don't mind, do you, sweetheart? Oh, that's quite all right, dear. Only see that your mother doesn't leave her cigar butts behind this time as she did the time before. All right, goodbye. What if I did? I can do what I want, can I? But, sweetheart, don't you see? The trouble with you is you think you owe me. Well, you don't. Nobody does. I can't help it, Doc. I'm mad about you. All right. You're not the only pebble on the beach. I don't have to make a fool of myself chasing after you. Why, there's scores of women, hundreds of women, millions of women. Mademoiselle, you make it a practice to quarrel with this young man in every cafe in Paris? No, man make me sick. Waiter. Oh, Waiter. Luncheon for two and a large bottle of soft turf. You make me sick too. I suppose you think I'm going to have lunch with you. I did have such an idea yesterday, sir. All right, I'll let you buy my lunch. That's very nice of you. Oh, darn, look what I've done. Oh. Waiter! Sure. Waiter! Sure. Run to the shop across the street and get uh, six pair of uh, gunmetal holes, the very sheerest they have. Size uh, eight and a half? Correct? Eight and a half. Yes. I suppose you think I'm going to let a stranger like you buy me stocking? I did have such an idea in mind, yes, mademoiselle. After all, why shouldn't I take them if you're crazy enough to buy them? Exactly. Why shouldn't you? <laughs> oh, please. Tell me, are you going to marry this boy you quarrel with so regularly? <laughs> I should say not. Marriage is only for sap. Do I look like a sap? <laughs> you and I are going to get along famously together. We think alike. <laughs> Oh, I must be going. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, but yes, I'm just a working girl. Yes? Yeah? What do you do? I'm an artist model. I'd like to have you pose for me sometime. Are you an artist? No, but I'd like to have you pose for me. <laughs> well, then, uh, you won't forget tonight? I guess I'm a rotten mechanic. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You're a great artist. They're never mechanics. Yeah. Well, I have to try again, see if I can fix this thing. It's a long way from Paris, and we don't have to walk all the way down here. Move over, darling, a little bit. Just move over. I'll fix it right now. All right. Please. Give me that wrench, though. All right, thanks. Felix, uh, stop, uh, pull over. The idea of any assistance, mademoiselle? Thank you, monsieur. I'll find out. Yes, you. Darling! Yes, dear? There's a nice gentleman here who wants to help us. <laughs> All right, I'm right. coming up. Where? Where? Well, Victor, fancy meeting you here. How do you do, Baron? Well, uh, aren't you going to introduce me to your charming companion? May I present uh, Baron Chevrial? My fiancée, Mademoiselle Claudette Valois. Enchanté, Mademoiselle. 
Oh, Victor, Victor, I'm surprised at you. Why haven't you brought your fiancé to see me before this? Do you really want to know? Of course. Very well, I'll tell you, Baron. I have never liked you, and I see no reason to pretend otherwise. You're not the kind of a man I care to have my fiancé associate with. Victor, how can you be so rude? Oh, please do not be distressed, mademoiselle. He's not so far off the mark. Victor, you'll apologize to the Baron at once. I'll do nothing of the sort. Why, a girl isn't safe within a mile of him. He's one of the most notorious philanderers in Paris. Why, you, you flatter me, my boy. You needn't wait, Baron. I don't need any help. Well, I'd be very happy to give you a tow. Thanks. I'd rather sit here. Well, I wouldn't. It's hot and dusty. And I, I have no doubt that Baron Chevrial would be delighted to give you a lift if you want one. Nothing could make me happier. You won't mind, will you, Victor? Go ahead. Go ahead and see if I care. Mademoiselle. Victor? <laughs> Au revoir, Victor. Ah, ah, ah. Never look back. He'll be sure. Be good for him. He's really a darling, you know. <laughs> and so are you. Now, now. Stop flirting with me, or I'll begin to believe what he said was true. Oh, <laughs> but it is. <laughs> I, uh, I wish you'd come to the races with me. Racing bores me. What difference does it make to me which horse comes in first? Make the difference of several thousand francs. I can give you some excellent tips. <laughs> I wonder what I'd use for money. Oh, don't be silly. Don't be silly. Let me stake you. You could win at least 10,000 francs. How much would you have to bet? Oh, a thousand francs. It's a ten-to-one shot, and I have some special information about it. You mean to say you'd bet a thousand francs on a silly horse? <laughs> Why, of course. Well, listen. If you really have money to throw away, I can tell you of a much better place to throw it. You can? Well, show me. Could we stop at a market? A market? <laughs> what? Well, of course. Uh, Felix. Felix. Oui, monsieur. Stop at the first market we come to. Très bien, monsieur. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, Marie. Hello, Jacques. Yeah. What's in the bag? Is that Just a minute. Oh, all kinds of goodies. Claudette. Goodies. Uh. Oh, no. Oh, Randy. Come right inside, oh, though. Come on. Come on. Go right Come along. Come on inside. He wanted to gamble at the racetrack, but I wouldn't let him. <laughs> I made him buy these instead. <laughs> oh. Looky, looky. Mother, Griffin, can we have it for dinner? Yes, dear. <laughs> Monsieur is very kind. Well, please don't thank me. It is entirely your sister's idea. Well, young man, what are you doing? You just trying to get some vegetables together? Would you like to see my good frog? I can think of nothing I'd rather do. <laughs> right, come with me. Will you me. pardon me, please? Come, right, sister. Please. That's it. Come along. We'll all go out together. Who is he? My dear, I'll tell you all about it. I was a victor, and the car broke down, and... What's his name? His name is Napoleon. Napoleon. Would you like to hold him? No, no, I'm not very good at holding frogs. 
What's the matter, darling? She wants you to blow her nose. Oh, she does? Well, come right up here and see what we can do about blowing your nose. Now, here. Now, blow. That's it. That's grand. Yeah. Have you got any pictures to show me? Pictures? Yes, I think I have some pictures. Now, now just a moment. Here. Here are some pictures. Here. Here's two nice pictures for you. There, hold them tight. And here's two nice pictures for you. And you can tell your mama that I said for you to keep them. Now, hold them tight, won't you? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you put Napoleon away for the night now, huh? Yes. yes. He's a nice Napoleon, isn't he? I'm quite sure Victor's wrong, because he's simply charming, my dear. Sometimes, you know, these charming men can be too charming. Oh, but he's different. I wish Victor had a little of his charm. He could well use it. <laughs> I think we ought to go out. You know what children are. <laughs> they honestly, Bonnie, he's the sweetest thing. You, you have no idea. Uh -uh. Daddy! Yvonne! Good news. I have good news, honey. I've got a job. Oh. Isn't that marvelous? Oh, Alfred, how wonderful. Oh, oh, I, I beg your pardon, Miss dear. I, I was so excited that I, I didn't notice you. I'm sorry. Uh, my husband, Baron Chevrolet. Santé? Won't you come in, Baron? No, thank you. We just dropped in in passing. We're on our way, aren't we, Claudette? Are we? Of course. We're going to the races. Well, goodbye. 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 I'm so happy for you. Darling, be good. Au revoir. Au revoir. Go to the races. Uh, They're always broke. And always having babies. That's what marriage brings you. Nothing but grief and worry. They didn't seem to mind the grief and worry. They seem very happy. Of course they're happy. They're in love. I see. And that's enough, is it? Enough? Why? Why, that's all there is, isn't it? What's the matter? I was just wondering if anyone could be as sweet and innocent as you look. <laughs> we all like to get away from our wives now and then. See and flirt with the young pretty girls, huh? Shevia knows that. Insists with that we get what we want. And then, when it comes to big contracts, who gets that? Oh, I see. Exactly. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
That isn't poison, you know. <laughs> I've never tasted a cocktail, and I didn't want anyone to know. No, no, I can't. Why not? He found out about it, baby. Oh, no, I can't. Listen, I'm leaving tomorrow for my villa at Monte Carlo. We could have a marvelous time there. What if your wife found out? But I'm not married. Really, I'm a bachelor. Oh. Don't you see how happy I am? I'll bet you're the only one here tonight, with the exception of Baron Cheriel. <laughs> hmm? It's awfully tempting, my dear, but I'd have to break with him. Good. Break with him. Oh, I can't. He'd be desperate. Why, he's crazy about him. But so am I. Besides, he's been awfully sweet and generous. Well, I could be equally sweet and generous if you could be sweet and generous to me. <laughs> huh? I'll think it over. Oh, give me an account. <laughs> <laughs> I like your honesty. You're terribly cute. You're sort of cunning yourself. <laughs> ah, vous m'avez promis de danser avec moi. Oh, je vais continuer à oublier. Vous permettez? Avec regret. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Anything the matter? You don't love me anymore. Oh, oh but you paid far more attention to that Pauline and that Claudette than you did to me. You didn't seem to be entirely neglected. You've been awfully nice to me and so sweet. I wanted to tell you. Oh, no, no, no. Don't beat around the bush. What are you driving at? You'll be angry with you. No. You won't be hurt or, or do something desperate. Oh, I see. There's someone else? Take it like that. You must be brave. You see, it couldn't last forever. Let me see. We uh, we have known each other. Exactly eighteen months. I had hoped our little romance might last at least a month or two longer. During that time, I've spent on you exactly 460,000 francs. You only gave me this a week ago. It wouldn't be fair for me to keep it. You see, I planned already then that... Please, my dear, don't embarrass me by misunderstanding me. I only mentioned the sum because I felt there was a balance morally due you. Now, you're a delightful little person, and I've enjoyed knowing you. But I never loved you. 
I never pretended to. You had expensive tastes. When we first met, I estimated that you would cost me at least a half a million francs. Well, our little affair is 40,000 francs under estimate. It's none of my business. But if I were you, I wouldn't go with Davio to his place at Monte Carlo. Why not? You wouldn't like it. The plumbing is terrible. Yes, really, it is. I want to see Baron Chabriel. I'm sorry, Monsieur. The Baron is entertaining. I don't care what he's doing. I want to see him. Uh, if you will give me your card, monsieur, I'll endeavor to... I have no card. Tell him Victor Lavelle wants to see him. Uh, inquire the nature of your business, monsieur. The nature of my business is to punch him in the nose. Um, uh, monsieur... What? Sorry to see you go so soon. Your party is going to be like. Thank you. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir, monsieur. Merci, monsieur. Merci. Au revoir. Au revoir, monsieur. Oh, Victor, where did you spring from? Where's Claudette? Well, I left her dancing. Won't you join us? Well, Victor, what's the matter? You're coming home. That's what's the matter. Let go. You're hurting me. How dare you come bursting in here making a scene? How dare you come to this man's apartment after I told you what sort of a man he is? I'll go where I like. I don't have to ask your permission. Come on, come on, get your things in place. Victor, you must calm yourself. You clear out of this. Remember, this is my home. That's why I don't want her here, to be contaminated with your rotten influence. Come on, get your things in place. You leave her alone. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. That's all right. Perhaps you'd better leave with him. Let him go. I'm ashamed of you. Go back and apologize. Come on, come on. Don't be a fool. Apologize for this little interruption. He insults you. He wouldn't do to me. I challenge you to a duel. I don't fight duels with young... Sweetheart, I couldn't help it. When Yvonne told me you were with him, I lost my temper. Victor, and I... do you love me? You know I do. Then please, let's go back and you apologize to him. Apologize? I'm more apt to go back and punch him in the nose again. Apologize to him or I'll never speak to you again. Are you going? No, I won't. Oh, Claudette. Claudette. Now listen. You Are you going to... to do what I ask? No, I won't. Then I'll go back and apologize for you. Oh, now listen, Claudette. Oh, well. Well, very strange thing happened tonight. I found myself blushing. How do you interpret that, Emil? It might be love, monsieur. Yes, it might be love, and again, it might be indigestion. Oh, monsieur, you've lost your pearl. No, I haven't lost it exactly. I've, I've invested it. <laughs> oh, monsieur's face. It's swollen. It is quite red. Yeah? Perhaps it's caused by the indigestion? No, you're wrong this time, Emil. That was caused by love. Never mind, Emil, never mind.
Is there anything else, monsieur? No, that's all, Emile. Good night. Good night, monsieur. Good night. Claudette, where's Victor? Oh, I don't know. May I speak to you for a moment? Why, certainly. Come in. Well, my dear? I came to tell you how, how terribly sorry I am about Victor. What he did was quite unpardonable. Oh, you're mistaken. I've already pardoned him. Awful. I'll never forgive him. His greatest crime is you. We have to forgive that. But I don't drink. It won't hurt you. Try it. You'll like it. Try it. Case. Like it? It's beautiful. Keep it. Oh, don't be silly. I mean it. Well, I wouldn't dream of taking it. Cigarette? Do I have to take one? <laughs> Why did you come back here? I told you. To apologize for Victor. Is that all? Yes, of course. You could have telephoned me. Of course I could, but I wanted to see you. Why? Because you're awfully nice. Why, you have some beautiful paintings. You're quite a collector, aren't you? I wish someone would collect Victor's pictures. <laughs> does he paint as well as he punches? Oh, does it hurt? He really punched me in the mouth. You're awfully sweet. Do you realize it's three o'clock? I, I know it's awfully late. Goodbye, goodbye. Why have I done anything wrong? No, that's the trouble. That's just what I'm trying to avoid. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Can't you see the mechanism? No, shut up and go to bed. Go to bed, go to bed. Well, I was just beginning to think you had given me the slip with that. How much is it now, please? Thirty-five francs, madame. I'm terribly sorry, but I haven't got it. You see, I... Oh, yeah? Well, you better go up and get it. Oh, I can't. You see, he threw me out. Can't help that, madame. You better go back and get my fare. Come in. Oh, Emil. A little nightcap, monsieur, to help you to go to sleep. Thank you, Emil. Thank you. Oh. Monsieur has a headache. Yes, a certain rush of virtue to the head. Very painful, Emil, very painful. Emil, give me my robe, quick. Let me see. Hey, Emil, I've thrown her out once, haven't I? 
He seems so young and so innocent. But I have thrown her out once. You're my witness to that, aren't you? We miss you. Now, here she is again of her own free will. Now, what do you think, Emil? I've done all I could, haven't I? We miss you. If I don't throw her out again, no one could blame me, could they? Oui, monsieur. Thank you, Emil. Hello. Hello. What do you want? Pardon, monsieur. The lady said you'd pay the fare. Sixty-five francs. That's without a tip. Where's the lady? She's gone. Walking off home, she said. All right, all right. I'll get you the money. Is that you? Yes, Lord, that. Marvelous news. I'll bet you sold a picture. I did. Wonderful. For how much? I don't know. I don't even know which picture. I just called Pascal on the phone and they told me he was on his way here to tell me the whole story. Oh, I'm so glad, Victor. Gosh, I wish that old Pascal would hurry. I think he's coming up the stairs now. Pascal! Pascal! Come in. How much did you get? Oh, did you get the money? Did you get the money? Oh my, won't oh, you get the money? I saw the young girl with pineapple. Oh. How much? Five thousand francs. Five thousand? Uh, that's my commission. I have already taken that. Is that marvelous? Here, here's the money. Here. Who bought it? A millionaire named Jones. I had it in the window. This man Jones must have seen it. He sent his secretary. I told him how much. He buys it. <laughs> oh, my boy, you are made. I'll sell some others. Oh, you will be another Picasso. Oh, Picasso. <laughs> what is it, another? Let me see. Oh. Oh. Well, how do you like it? It is super. Magnificent. What is it? I call it uh, Lady with Mandolin. Oh, cause, oh, beautiful. Oh, my boy, you, you are a genius. You are a genius. Mm, I salute you. Mm, uh, I must go. Maybe he'll be there again. Eh? Au revoir, au revoir. Au revoir, mademoiselle, au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Maybe he'll be there. Eh? Yes. Bye -bye. Au revoir. Goodbye, Pascal. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll paint the town red. I'll buy you one. No, hat. darling. You must be sensible. You'll pay some of your debts and you'll save the rest. Oh, let's have one grand splurge. Not one. Oh, please. You let me pay back what I owe you. Sure. I'm broke, too. <laughs> Look at all the money we have now. I don't know what I'd do without you, Claudette. You stake me when I'm broke, keep me sane when I want to go crazy, cheer me up when I'm depressed. You're a great kid, Claudette. Well, I've got to run along here. Where are you going, darling? I've got some debts to pay, too. Oh, debts, debts. Au revoir. Au revoir, darling. Mm -hmm. What? Oh! What? Oh, oh, oh. Lady with a pain. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, Monsieur Charon. Yes, the contracts are all drawn up. I'm quite sure you'll be more than satisfied. Oh, it was a pleasure. What's that? Oh, I'd be glad to give you her number. Just a moment. It's, uh, one nine... No, 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 I'm sorry. No, it's two three one four seven. I'm sure she'll be delighted to hear from you. <laughs> now, au revoir. Au revoir. Oh, the painting. Yes, Monsieur. Oh, Paul, do let me see it. I'm anxious to. 
The dealer said it was called uh, Young Girl with Pineapple. Hmm. I wonder which is the girl and which is the pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we shall have to hang it somewhere. Now, let's see. Oh. Uh, no. no. Uh, here, here. Yeah, let's hang it over here. Yes, Mr. Yes, I think that would be the proper place, all right? But it doesn't fit here, monsieur. Oh, put it the other way and it will. Oh, but monsieur. Oh, nobody will notice it. Go ahead. Come in. There's a young lady to see you, monsieur. All right, let's take a look at her. Three. Really? Mademoiselle? Well, well, Claudette. I'm delighted. How do you do? Would you sit down, will you? Uh. I owe you some money. Do you? Yes, don't you remember the taxi? It was 35 francs. I'm sorry I've been so long, but I didn't have it before. You sure you can spare it? Oh, yes. Everything's fine now. You see, Victor sold a picture and paid me back the money I loaned him. I see. What are you thinking about? I'm still trying to make you out. You're either unbelievably naive or unbelievably clever. You have a lovely office. What do you do here? Sell locomotives. You want to buy a dozen? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that? How did that get here? I bought it. Are you Mr. Jones? Mm hmm. Why did you buy it? I'm very fond of young girls and pineapples. Penny, for your thoughts. How did you buy that picture? It wasn't to help Victor. You hardly know him. And what you do know of him isn't so very good the way he punched you in the nose. <laughs> and yet, you buy a picture of him for 5,000 francs. Just what did you expect to get for it? I always get my money's worth. Do you? <laughs> oh, I, I consider that a very fine picture. It's splendid. Applesauce. <laughs> We oui, monsieur? That's all. Come here. Paul, how old do I look? <coughs> monsieur. Oh, I'm... Never mind. Experience has taught me that when a man clears his throat, he's about to tell a lie. Go away, go away. Oui, Here for me, Felix. Oh, 
mademoiselle, mademoiselle. Bonjour, monsieur. Come. Ah, so glad to see you. May I, may I join you? Of course. The last time we met, you whispered applesauce, kissed me, and vanished now. What did you mean by that? <laughs> Perhaps I got the order wrong. I should have kissed you first and then said applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> and how is your pugilistic fiancé? You've bought more of his pictures, haven't you? He's thrilled to death. Splendid. Maybe that's just what he needed, his first save, knowing that someone appreciates his art. You won't let him know that you bought them, will you? No. You see, he doesn't know you like I do. He'd never understand. Do you understand me? You're one of the nicest men I've ever known. I'll go that. I just hope that's Before you say anything, don't you think you ought to apologize to Baron Chevriol? Uh, Baron Chevriol, I, uh, I behave like a drunken louse. I'm sorry. Will you forgive me? It's already forgotten. Waiter, waiter. Oui, monsieur. Champagne, please. Oh, what's the Too sweet, too sweet. Champagne? Aren't you terribly extravagant? I just sold another picture to the mysterious millionaire Jones. Oh, I congratulate you. The most amazing thing, Baron. I have no idea who this man is. Neither has the dealer. But no sooner have I a new picture in his window than this check comes along and buys it. Pays big money, too. Can't understand it. You have great talent, Victor. Well, I... Uh, I must have something that he admires. Uh, there's no doubt of that. One more sale, and she and I can set up housekeeping. Well, well, I, I think I'll... Oh, don't go. I'm sorry, but I must. It's getting a bit late. Mademoiselle? I'll walk back to your car with you. Thank you. Au revoir. Au revoir. So you must bring your fiancé to dine with me one evening, Victor. I think not, Baron. Why not? I'm sorry I punched you in the nose, Baron, and uh, I don't want to have to do it again. All the while. He's nice, isn't he? Oh, I suppose he's all right. But I don't like the way he seems to be hanging around you. How did he know you were here? Did you have a date with him? Don't be absurd. He was driving by in his car and he saw it. Baron Chevrial has the reputation of being one of the most immoral and profligate men in Paris. I don't want you to see him again. You needn't be so pompous, dear. I can't help it. I can see that you like him. And I'm jealous. You're a funny boy. <laughs> Where's that champagne? Where's that waiter with that champagne? I bet you walk by here a million times to see your pictures, don't you? I'm looking to see if they're gone, dumbbell. That's interesting. All from pictures. I see. Victor Laval. Never heard of him. Superb Did you hear that? Superb feeling, great technique. Now, aren't you glad you're going to marry me? Yeah, if you don't get too conceited. Oh, well, I wish I could see you. Oh, just the man I want to see. I want to take you up to Montmartre. There is an exhibition. I'm sorry, Pascal. We, we're going to a movie. But it is business. There will be a lot of art critics, and you must meet them. I like to see Oh, go on, Victor. He's right. I don't mind. Honest, dear? Really. I've several errands to do anyway. Well, then I'll see you tomorrow for lunch, huh? Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. Lunch. Come, 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 come on, come on, come on. Please, come on. Bye, darling. Goodbye. Uh, yes, Oh, Mademoiselle Claudette, I'm so delighted. I came to return something you left. <laughs> Seems to me you're always returning something. You're the best little returner I know. <laughs> Thank you. That isn't the only reason I came. Well, I'm delighted to hear that. Who won't you sit down? Thank you. And now. It's about Victor. About his paintings. Yes? 
Are they really any good? Or is he just living in a fool's paradise? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll tell you. The first one I bought, remember the young girl with pineapple? Mm -hmm. The first I, I hung it sideways in my office, and then I afterwards hung it properly. A great critic saw it and offered me a profit. Well, your, your victor has great talent. You're the only one who's found it. Oh, well, others will find it. You wait, you'll see. Oh, I hope so. You love him very, very much, don't oh, you? Oh, yes, I do, but, but... But what? But he's so, so terribly young. Yes. Yes, that's the one quality I envy him. you buy for your client. Oh, monsieur. What oui. do you do? I, I'm naturally anxious to know something about my patron, monsieur. Well, I regret to say, monsieur, that I am not at liberty to give any information. But uh, who is he? What does he do with my picture? Oh, he's a great lover of art, monsieur. I would like to meet him, too. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where does he live? Oh, I'm sorry, monsieur. I cannot give you that information. I don't understand. Uh, why all the mystery? Who are you? I am monsieur Jones' private secretary, monsieur. You'll pardon me? Through the body. I'll follow him. I'll find out who he is. I'll see you later, Pastor. All right, all right. Follow that cab. Wait for me, please. Oh, bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, good evening, Emil. Yes. Come in. Oh, no, uh, no, thank you. Monsieur Le Baron asked me to deliver this. Oh, oui. <laughs> Uh, merci, monsieur. Good night, Emil. C'est tout? Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. I want to see Baron Chabrial. Uh, monsieur le Baron is not at home. Oh, he's not, eh? Well, I want to see him anyway. No, you cannot see monsieur le Baron. I told you, you have to go. Oh, so he's the man, huh? I'll take his snack, I'll kill him. You cannot go. Now listen, you let me go. I want to I see told you. I'll put you in the nose, too. Yeah, I must see him. Victor. Wait just a moment, please. I want to see him. Well, nice of you to drop in. Victor. Oh, you bought my pictures, huh? Is that a crime? Why did you buy them? Why did you give a phony name? You're just trying to make a fool out of me, that's all. You don't like them. You don't admire them. You want to be a successful artist, don't you? You want to sell your pictures? I don't want your rotten money, your philanthropy. Oh, just a minute. Oh, hold it. I knew it. I knew it. He bought them because of you. No, Victor, I knew nothing. Don't lie to me. He's not the kind of a man to spend thousands of francs on pictures he doesn't want without getting something for it. What do you mean? I mean that both of you are trying to make a laughing stock out of me. A fool. You pretend to love me. Pretend you want to marry me. And all the time, you're only this How man. How dare you? How Victor. dare you even think such a thing? I'll buy my pictures back from you. I'll return every rotten penny. And as for you... Victor, what are you doing? Are you mad? Get your hands Listen off of me. Listen to me. You mustn't be foolish about it. Get your hands, hands off of me. Listen to me. <laughs> you killed him. You killed him. Call a doctor. Just a minute. Attendez. Attendez. Ne sortez pas. What do you want? Let me go. Ici. Je ne peux pas vous sortir. Attendez que la police vienne.
Métro 205. Dépêchez-vous, dépêchez-vous. Can I be of any help? Uh, you know anything about nursing? Yes, I took a course. I'm sure I can do it all right. Oh, that'll do. Come with me. He'll be unconscious for hours. Maybe for days. I'll write out a list of instructions for you. Thank you. Merci, Emil. Merci, Monsieur. Voilà. That's fine, Emil. Merci. Hi, right. Emil. May I have a cigarette? I'll have to ask Mademoiselle Claudette. <laughs> what do you... What do you think of my nurse, Emil? Oh, she's wonderful. Night and day, she never left your side. She's one of the millions. Mm. You mean one in a billion, don't you? Where is she? Oh, no. Please, not yet. But you must eat. Well, later. Oh, Claudette. Please. Why are you so kind to me? Why? Because I like you. You see, it's all my fault, really. What has happened to Victor? He's under arrest, where he belongs. Well, haven't you seen him since... No, and I don't want to. They can keep him in jail for the rest of his life, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, poor Victor. Poor Victor, nothing. He might have killed you. As soon as you're up and about, you have to go down to the prefecture of police and prefer charges against him. You know, I... I can't quite understand you, Claudette. What do you mean? You're the first woman who's ever done anything for me that didn't have an axe to grind. Don't you know why that is? No. It's because I love you. Oh, Claudette. You can't mean that. You're in love with Victor. Oh, no. I thought I loved him. But after that dreadful scene, I knew I was wrong. The man I love must be kind and sweet and gentle. Unselfish. Like you. You're a funny man. What do you usually say to a lady when she tells you she loves you? I usually tell her she's a liar. How rude of you. Are you quite sure that Victor means nothing to you? Why? Yes. Claudette, what would you say if I asked you to... to marry me? I'd say yes. Oh, you'd... you'd be taking an awful chance. I haven't been exactly a saint, you know. <laughs> and furthermore, I'm quite a bit older than you. Oh, not over a hundred years. Now, I, I don't want to seem too severe. Monsieur, je comprends, monsieur. But you see, monsieur, we cannot bring the young man to trial until you personally prefer charges. Oh, I see. Come in. Monsieur Briac, by appointment. Oh, yes, yes, show him in. Show him in. Uh, if you'll wait for me, I'll go down to the prefecture of police. Très bien, monsieur, merci. Monsieur Briac. Ah. Congratulate you upon your recovery. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Briac, have you... Uh, have you seen the moon? Moon? Are you quite sure you feel all right, Monsieur? 
Oh, you wouldn't understand, Briak. It's, it's a blue moon. Some months ago, you wanted to sell me an engagement ring. I told you to be a blue moon before I bought one. Yes, monsieur. Well? Ah, monsieur is engaged. To the finest and sweetest girl in all the world. Then I'll get, monsieur, the finest engagement ring in the world. Oh, that wouldn't be good enough, Briac. Ah, now you trust me, monsieur. <laughs> trust <laughs> me. <laughs> May I see him alone? Oui, monsieur. Merci. Well, have you cooled off? Baron, I... I didn't know what I was doing. I was crazy. I was blind with rage and jealousy. So I gather. Where's Claudette? What happened? They wouldn't tell me a thing here. I, I didn't even know whether you were dead or alive. Claudette is... You have seen her, monsieur? How is she? Has she forgiven me? She never wants to see you again. Well, however, she bears you no know, ill will. In fact, she asked me to be as lenient as possible. Monsieur le Préfet. Monsieur. If I decide uh, not to sign these papers, to prefer no charges, what then? He'll be released, of course. Merci, monsieur. You're welcome. Some people think all artists should be in jail. I don't share their prejudices. I... I don't know how to thank don't you, Don't thank me, Victor. Thank Claudette. Baron, are you... are you going to see her? Oh, yes, indeed. Almost exclusively for the rest of my life. I'm going to marry her. Are we nearly there? Almost. Oh, please tell me where we're going. <laughs> Don't be so mysterious. You wait. You'll find out. Like it? So much. <laughs> Let's go inside. Does it belong to you? No, it belongs to you. It's my wedding gift to you. Oh. <laughs> I I didn't have it furnished. I thought you'd enjoy doing that. Just a moment, Felix. I'll be right back. Oh, William was then. <laughs> ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, monsieur. Pastor. Pretty soon it wouldn't be just mademoiselle. It would be bonjour, madame, la baronesse de Chevrial. Yes, next week. Poor Victor, he will be heartbroken. How is he? Oh, fine, fine. He's a genius. I have sold six more pictures. To Mr. Jones? No, 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 to others. Others recognize now how great artist he is. I'm so glad. You want to see him? I'll get him here in two minutes. Oh, no, no, I don't, I don't want to see him. I never want to see him again. I just wanted to know that he was well and busy. Mademoiselle, can I give him a message? Yes. Please tell him. But I wish you all the success and happiness. Oui, mademoiselle.
to the country house, Felix. Uh, shall we stop by the office and pick up Monsieur Le Baron? No, he's busy. He's coming out later. Oh, bien, mademoiselle. What is it that attracts you, the money or the title? Neither. Then what are you marrying him for? Because I love him. Uh, a young girl doesn't marry a man of that age for love. But I, I do love him. You may fool him, but you can't fool me. Victor, please go away. You must. You never want to see me again, do you? Pascal just told me. You must. No. Maybe I don't love him the way I used to love you. But this you must believe. He loves me and trusts me more than you ever did. I can't go back on him now. You don't love him. You can't. You know you love me. You're sorry for him. Grateful, perhaps. I can't do this, him. What do you care for him? He said a thousand women. We're young. The world is in front of us. Can I down monsieur? No, no, c'est pas nécessaire. Très bien, gardez tout. Merci bien, monsieur. Au revoir. I love you, Claudette. And you love me. Nothing else matters. Oh, no, Victor. You're wrong. There's something just as big as love. Loyalty. You must go, Victor. And you must promise me never to come here again. Drive around for a little while, yeah, will you? Claudette. Oh, hello, dear. What have you been crying about? Why, I haven't been crying. I was hanging the curtain. Perhaps the sun got in my eyes. What's the matter? Claudette, I... I want you to release me from my promise to marry you. But why? Why, 
I've been thinking the whole thing over and it won't work out. I'm too old a dog to learn new tricks. I thought I might enjoy domesticity, being married to only one woman. I'm not of the marrying sort, I guess. I, I'd be bored with a house and a wife. All of this. You could, you could hold me for several million francs for breach of promise and get them too. Somehow I don't believe you will. Will you release me from my promise? Of course. If you don't want me. <laughs> Shall I turn the radio, monsieur? No, thanks, Emil. But monsieur is so depressed. Breaking one's engagement is always depressing, Emil. Oui, monsieur. I thought I told you to throw those things away when I became engaged. I took the liberty of putting them away instead of throwing them. Hi, mm -hmm. <laughs> Emil. Here. Pick out a key. Any key. That's fine. Thanks, Emil. She's charming. Champs-Élysées, deux, quatre, cinq, huit. Hello, sweetheart. <laughs> this is the Baron. Why, darling, I haven't heard from you in ages. Huh? <clears throat> no, that's all off. I'm back in circulation. Thank you.